I'm Andy Covell, we're here at Esk Studio. I'm a designer, artist, glassblower. We really want to create pieces that express a different way of seeing glass. How can we make this material important and how can we add to the history of it instead of repeating what's already been done? All right, let's do it. I want to create new designs, new paradigms, and new ways of pushing the medium. So a lot of the processes and a lot of the designs are also like material explorations and experiments. What's our temperature? Uh, 954. I worked assisting a lot of glassblowers in New York, and that's where I met my partner, Justin Parker, as well. Once we met, we realized that we had not only a friendship, but we also had a really similar aesthetic. Hard, Andy? We had something that was really different that we wanted to offer. Beautiful. All right. Go for it. Yeah. We've been working together for over 20 years, and we work together every day, and um, Justin is in charge of the studio, and I'm in charge of the office. Wow. Beauty. That's how you do it. Okay, door, Nick. Andy and I, she's very fine art, and I'm very fabrication and technical and craft. It's cool because it's always a collaborative thing happens, and, and we always make something that's new and fresh. One of the pieces is our skull decanter. Justin makes this solid sculpted skull. We put that piece inside a decanter and it's like we use it for wine craft. And what's really cool about it is you fill it with red wine and as the wine goes down, the skull kind of emerges. We really love the idea of our glass to be handled. And there's something just so visceral and amazing and having an experience with the glass rather than just viewing it on a pedestal where it's like, don't touch it. We want you to touch it. We want you to hold it. We want you to use it. I've designed for anthropology, Bushmills, Amps Delight, local restaurants like the Doug Fur. We've done work for hotels like the W Hotel. I really enjoy doing that type of high profile work because you have such a large audience when it's in a public space like that. The name Esk is in reference to outside influences and our teachers and our mentors. It's really just a nod of appreciation and respect for everything that influences us in our lives. So I am making a starter bubble and it's just gonna be a little bubble so we can overlay the color on top of it and it gives it a layer of clear under the color which kind of helps the color from blurring out once we've hunted it up. And the glass is at 2050 in our furnace, and so it's really the consistency of honey. Beauty. So you gather that on the end of the pipe, and then you shape it into form that allows more and more glass to be gathered without it pulling out or changing shape. My name is Nick Speed. I'm Andy's nephew, and I am a glass blowing assistant here at S. Grab it down here, Nick. The neck, the, that part's going to be hot. Put both hands on the body, you have to just like that. I'm an industrial design major at Pratt Institute. When COVID hit and I wasn't going to be in school for a year, she offered me a job here and I came in in June 2020 and have just been here ever since. Nick. Up. Nice. 
keep it turning, Nick? It was really stressful at the beginning because I had to learn while they're making these pieces that have to be up to a certain quality that they can sell. I'm trying to teach him, and as I teach him, you know, maybe he messes up a couple times and then he brings what I want perfect, but then there's a good chance that I'm gonna mess up. So it's like you have two people that have to do things perfect every time. What Justin and Andy have taught me working here, not even just about how to work glass, it's all these things that are just gonna help me be more comfortable becoming an adult and becoming my own designer. Nice, Nick. How's your perfume bottle design coming? It's a lot of parts. I was in the television series Blown Away, season two on Netflix. It was a really interesting process and experience for me because I'm so used to working with my one partner. The line between art and design a little bit. And so going on the show, you know, first of all, it's a competition and, you know, we don't compete with each other or with anyone. And you work with a different assistant every challenge. You're also working in a strange studio, and their glass is really different than ours. Or their glass is a lot stiffer. I just really appreciate that I had that experience. It really gave my work a lot of exposure, which is why I did it in the first place. One color, Andy? What do we got going on We've in here? We've got two colors. We're going to do uh, the blue. Oh, and the white? It's the extra light copper with the white on top of it. White. And Justin, I'll hand this off to you, and then I'll grab the pipe. Will you give a puff for me? Good. Through the experience with Netflix, I really wanted to keep the connection going with these artists. And so I came up with this idea, let's collaborate. We're all working on the idea of growth as a theme. So we'll be releasing one new design from another artist each month, and then all the artists on the show are going to promote and sell the work. Nice. Like I could, right, I like could where can on, you I cut? I could drill on this crazy on it. Love the like extra cloudiness of those. We're working with Osmos, who's an interior design company, with Andy Hess. I'm always looking for opportunities to have their work in our projects because it's so unique and their ability to think really creatively and then customize and create these like otherworldly things is um, amazing. Tendrils? Yeah. Oh yeah, look, it's upside down there. See that? Right? It's actually really cool. Glass does not like to be drilled with a giant hole like that. Sweet. So that was uh, a little tricky. Working with people that are so passionate about what they're doing and have such a wide experience and knowledge, it just makes for the ultimate project because they're bringing to the table something that's never been seen before or realized before. So it's just always really, really exciting. It's like, it's like a avant-garde fairy garden, so <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> which is pretty good. It's this amazing, gooey, fluid, sticky, oozy material when it's hot, and then when it's cooled and hard, the way it captures light, reflects light, refracts it. It's just got so many amazing properties and we want our work to be all about that, like all about celebrating and highlighting the material's natural inherent properties. <laughs> 